In this episode, we'll learn how to set up a quick and easy print server that allows you to print from any internet connected device no matter where you are. A print server is basically a computer that's hooked up to one or more printers that then shares them over networks so that others can access them. The main difference between a computer and a server is that a server's primary use is to share files with other computers, and that means that it has to stay on constantly or else no one will be able to access what it's sharing. So when picking a computer to use as your server, you want to pick one that you don't mind leaving on 24-7. Because if your server isn't on, you can't use the printer. So think about using an old computer or one that doesn't use much power. Obviously the first step is to connect a printer to your print server. And to do that, just run the install software that came with the printer. If you don't have the install software, you can probably download a copy of it from the manufacturer's website. You also want to check the power settings to make sure your computer isn't set to go to sleep. It's fine if the screen turns off, but the computer itself must stay on. The next step is to share the printer. If you have XP or Vista, you can watch this video about print sharing. Otherwise, in Windows 7, go to Control Panel, Devices and Printers, and then right-click on your newly installed printer and select Printer Properties. Click on the Sharing tab and check the Share This Printer box. And if you want, give it a name and click OK. If you're using a Mac, go to System Preferences from the dock and choose Print and Fax. Select your printer and choose Share This Printer on the Network. And make sure sharing is enabled by clicking Sharing Preferences and checking the Printer Sharing box from the list. Now that your computer has been shared, you need to connect to it. And connections differ depending on your computer. If your computer is on the same network as the print server and you're using Windows XP or Vista, you can reference this tutorial for printer sharing. On Windows 7, access your printers and devices like we did earlier and click Add a Printer. Then choose Add a Network Wireless or Bluetooth Printer and it will search your network for your shared printer. On a Mac, go to the Print and Fax window like we did earlier and click on the plus sign. Select the IP tab and choose Internet Printing Protocol, then enter the IP address of your server and it will search for any connected printers. If you're not sure how to find your IP address, you can click here. If you're using a Windows machine as the print server, click on the Windows tab and it will search for networked Windows printers. Now you can take it a step further by setting up either Dropbox or Google Cloud Print and be able to print from anywhere in the world using any internet connected device. So now you should never have to be without a printer again. All right, be sure to check out Tinkernut.com on Tumblr, Facebook, and Twitter. That's it for this tutorial. For more, go to Tinkernut.com.